If you're tired of scouring the internet for answers about the VGC VRN76 or BTEC UV Pro and frustrated by the lack of clear documentation, you're not alone and we frequently get asked questions about these radios. These rugged, waterproof radios have incredible potential, but only if you know how to unlock it. Welcome to the comms channel and today we're kicking off the first video in our ultimate guide to mastering these radios. Join me as we take a deep dive to answer your questions and help you get the most out of your VRN76 or UV Pro. For those of you unfamiliar with these radios, these are dual band ham radios covering the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands. What really sets these radios apart however and why I really like them is the Bluetooth TNC capability to allow for easy use for packet radio and APRS applications. There's really only one other manufacturer making radios with this capability and that's Kenwood with their THD74 and THD75. While I do own both of them and they are great radios, they are pricey. And because of that and them not being rugged and completely waterproof, they're often relegated to being shack queens or only being taken outdoors in good weather I don't have those same concerns with the VRN76 and UV Pro because they are rugged and completely waterproof with an IP67 rating, meaning they can be submerged underwater up to one meter deep for 30 minutes. Now I've received a comment from someone with concerns about the radio's waterproofness because of reports of water inside the battery compartment area since it isn't sealed. It is true that the entire battery compartment isn't sealed, but it doesn't need to be as the only ingress point is the area with the battery contacts and that area is gasketed and sealed when the battery is attached. So seeing water in the battery compartment after your radio takes a swim in the river is completely normal. This is actually similar to a radio from another company you may have heard of called Motorola. Now this radio may look fairly new, but it's actually a former U.S. military or first responders radio with a new housing put on. And if we look at the back, you can tell it's not new and it's been put through its paces. And similar to these new radios we're covering in this video, this radio also just protects the battery contact area and seeing water in the battery compartment here is normal. As far as these new radios go, my only concern would be the USB-C port on the battery as that is open to the elements, but I've seen no signs of water entering in the battery itself. I do recommend that if your radio does go for a swim that you tap out any water in the USB-C port and then blow out any remaining water to help prevent any corrosion of the USB-C port. Now let's talk about some minor differences between these radios that may help you decide on which one to get. Now there's actually three versions of this radio from three different companies. VGC is the original manufacturer of the radio. Then there's a version from BTEC with their own branding on it. And then there's a version from Radiodity with their own branding. I don't have the Radiodity version so I can't speak on it. And that is why I generally don't make mention of it in my videos. As far as I know, this radio is more or less the same as the one from VGC. The VGC radio is the only one that comes in multiple colors and is honestly why I went with this one when I saw they had a coyote tan colored one. The BTEC version is marketed towards the US, but it only comes in black and the features of that radio for the US market weren't enough to pull me away from the magnetic power of anything in that color. So speaking of the BTEC, we'll go over the differences compared to the VGC version. As just mentioned, the BTEC only comes in black and has these orange accents. The buttons on the front panel of the BTEC are different from the VGC and Radiodity version, and they're kind of separated from the other buttons in their own little islands instead of the four rows of connected rubber pieces for the buttons. I do like the buttons on the BTEC better, but the buttons on the VGC are still just fine and I've been able to use it with no issues. Now on to the US focus features. The BTEC has the NOAA weather radio frequencies programmed in along with weather alerting. As far as I know this is really the only feature of the radio that the VGC doesn't have which wasn't enough to make me reconsider getting the VGC. Now as someone who storm chases, this may seem like an odd feature for me to not be worried about, but I'm usually hyper aware of the weather during storm season and I already have dedicated radios for weather alerting. 
but I can definitely see this being an attractive feature for some, especially while outdoors, which is where these radios really shine. Another great thing about these radios compared to a number of other Chinese radios is that they are clean and pass the spurious emissions test, which is a test to see what other frequencies the radio is transmitting on outside of the intended frequency. Ideally, you just want to transmit on the intended frequency and nothing else, but the FCC does allow for transmission on additional frequencies as long as they're below a certain level. But as we can see here, we're only transmitting on one frequency, so that's not a concern at all as this radio is passing with flying colors. Something I've made an effort to do is have more gear with USB-C charging, and that is something that these radios satisfy. But better yet, the USB-C port is on the battery itself instead of the radio, which will allow you to charge any extra batteries you may have by themselves instead of having to be attached to the radio for charging. These radios are extremely capable for the price, and if you're interested in picking one up, whether it be the version from VGC or the one from BTEC, we'll have affiliate links to them in the video description below. If you do decide to go with the VGC version, be sure to use our discount code of TCC during checkout for $10 off your order. That'll do it for this first video introducing these radios and answering some general questions about them and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so because we have much more to cover and in the next video we'll be going over operating and programming the radio directly from the radio itself without having it paired to a phone and using the app. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank y'all and have a good one.